Okay, hi everyone. Thanks very much for tuning in. For those that don't know me already, my name's Sharon. And quite recently I've been interviewing some special women that have got their own businesses to talk about social media. And today's special guest is Heather. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to introduce you. I'm going to let you introduce yourself, <laughs> Heather. Over to no you. Pressure, no pressure. No pressure. So thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, so hi everyone, anybody that doesn't know who I am, I'm Heather Rose, um, I've got a few businesses, so I run Mindset and Me, which is all about empowering children, helping children with their mindset, helping them with their self-belief, confidence, any anxiety issues, all those sort of things our children go through, um, and to help them to become resilient in life and to give them the tools to become resilient and have that growth mindset having transformed my own life through my mindset and then able to help my son Isaac. And um, we then wanted to share with other families the resources that were never available for us. So we do things like affirmation cards for children and teenagers, um, you know, workshops, um, mindset um, worksheets. We have mental health awareness t-shirts because mental health is our passion to get awareness for that. Um, a children's book as well that we launched last year based on Isaac's journey with emotions and the tools that we help use to help him. And then on the other side, I am um, the network leader for MIB International, the empowerment network for women and mums in business. And I am in the HQ and I help the CEO, Leona Burton, head up the company along with Vicky Haig. Um, and my role at the moment, as well as helping in HQ, is just being the head network leader for the UK and Ireland, helping, um, you know, build our areas and getting new network leaders on board. That's a little bit about me. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that is a lot, isn't it? You are obviously one very busy lady. Um, so talk to me about social media. How have they helped you with both your businesses then? Oh, social media. If Without social media, I would never be where I am in business. Social media is an amazing platform. It has its downsides as well as obviously the good side. Um, but social media, if it's used rightly, can help your business massively. So over the last three to four years of my journey, I've now got a following of almost 25,000 over different platforms, um, which is incredible. Um, and yeah, so it's really helped my business massively. It helps you reach people that you wouldn't normally be able to reach. Uh, you know, if you're doing that manually, you'd have to, you know, go out and network with a lot of people to reach the kind of people that you can reach on social media. Yeah, it's, it's an easy way to get to other people, other countries even as well, isn't it? Exactly. Um, exactly. So, obviously, I know you're busy. So why did you choose to start outsourcing your social media? So I love social media, but my baby is Facebook. I think you always find one platform that you actually love and that's your niche. And I think it's very key that you keep to your niche and not spread yourself too thinly over different platforms because then you're not doing your job properly. So if you're trying to be everywhere and to, you know, to sell to everyone, you're not actually going to succeed. So Facebook has always been my baby. That's where I do a lot of my business. That's where I build a lot of relationships. And that's where mainly my ideal customer hangs out. It's really, really crucial. You find which platform your ideal customer actually hangs out on. You know, depending on your business, your ideal customer might not be on Facebook. It might be LinkedIn or it might be Instagram or, you know, it could be Twitter. Whatever platform it is, you need to find where your ideal customer is first. So I knew that Facebook was my priority. However, I did know a need that I needed to have a presence elsewhere. Now for me, I don't really get LinkedIn. I don't get Instagram. It's not my thing. And I think if you can in business, outsource the things that you don't want to do. Because if you try to do everything yourself, one, you don't do things productively because you're trying to be everywhere, like I said, and you, you know, you spread yourself too thinly, but two, you always put off the things that you don't like to do. So <laughs> if you don't do them first thing, Each of the Frog is a brilliant book. If you've not had, had that, um, you put off these tasks and I was finding I was trying to do and have a presence 
but I was putting it off because I didn't enjoy doing it. So I decided as my business, it was best for me to focus my energy on the things that I loved doing and where I was good at and where my niche was and outsource the other areas to people that could do that better for me. Um, rather than having no presence because I was putting things off because I didn't want to do it and it wasn't a priority for me. I've now got a presence in the other platforms that I never had. Fantastic. So how has that benefited you? I mean, obviously you still, you love Facebook. That's where, you know, your ideal client hangs out and it's where you've grew, you know, the majority of your following. Uh, but having this presence on other platforms and somebody else doing that for you, how has it helped? Massively. It's increased my presence um, across other platforms that I wasn't currently, you know, um, using to the best advantage. Um, and it's making new connections. Um, so obviously you are amazing on LinkedIn, which I'm very thankful for that I've outsourced to you who are doing LinkedIn, you know, connecting with people that, you know, people that might want my resources, like doctors, teachers, that kind of people on that side of things. Um, you know, and I wouldn't be able to have the time with how busy I am with all the different roles that I have to put my effort in to do that. So I might be able to have a small presence, but I wouldn't be able to reach the people I would need to be connecting with because I haven't got the time to do to put into that. Um, Instagram, I obviously, I've never got Instagram. I mean, I'm getting better. I am getting my head around it slightly, but Instagram was never my thing. It just wasn't, you'll find you have your thing, don't you? Facebook was my thing. Um, so I outsourced to Kai Burton, um, who does my Instagram and he posts on there twice you know I was lucky if I was posting once every three or four days on there which we all know if you're not consistent on anything it doesn't get you anywhere you've got to be consistent for something to work so outsourcing on these platforms with yourself and Kai gives me that consistency that's key for any business to succeed um you know you post you know once twice a day on linkedin for me kai you know twice a day and stories it's reaching other people it's reaching potential influencers and people that i can obviously then network with um you know and there is some parents my ideal customer is obviously parents and there is parents that use instagram so kai is tapping into that audience for me you know you've you've got to Focus where you want your time, isn't it? Time's precious. We've all got things going on. And I couldn't physically be consistent what you need to be in business on three different platforms. Yeah. So yeah. outsourcing is key if you can do that. If you can, and not everyone can. So ideally, going back to what you said, stick to your one platform, stick to right. you know your niche. But yeah. when your business starts to grow and you've got the amount of money you know to outsource, then start having the presence on other platforms because not everyone uses Facebook it is and I'd say you know even if you maybe not have the funds right now if you can maybe just for one month just to see what it does for you for one month or two months and you can get some insights of what it could be you might not be able to afford it but then being on those other platforms might give you the business and connections that are going to give you the funds to be able to outsource so it swings and roundabouts isn't it yeah um but yeah you've, you've got to be consistent and you've got to be you know, focus on that one platform. If you haven't got the, the, you know, the resources or the funds to outsource right now, don't spread yourself too thin. I think some people, sometimes you think that you've got to be everywhere. You've got to be on Facebook, you've got to be on Instagram, you've got to be on Twitter, you've got to be on LinkedIn, and then you're not doing anything to its full potential because you're trying to be everywhere. So if you can't outsource and have the funds, then stick to one, two max social media platforms. Totally agree because you can spend all day on social media just for personal reasons, never mind business reasons, and you're not actually getting anything done. So before we go, Heather, have we got anything exciting happening with Mindset and Me coming up? And then please do tell everyone where they can find you. Yes, we have indeed. So we've got a competition on at the moment. So our range of mental health awareness t-shirts are being discontinued at the end of August to make way for our autumn and winter collection. So I'm super excited on that, but we've run a competition to get our followers involved to design a quote t-shirt. So people can get involved doing that. Um, we're going to have 
um, a follow-up book to Isaac's Master of the Motions coming out before Christmas. Um, but I'm not saying too much about that yet. I'm going to keep you all in suspense. So very exciting. Um, so yeah, we've got some exciting things coming. Very, very excited. Fantastic. So people can find us. Um, we have a business page, Mindset and Me, but we also have a support group for parents as well, which is Mindset and Me Parents Support Group. You can just search us on Facebook and you'll find us. I put lots of free resources in there, free help tips um, to help us as parents to help our children. Love it. Um, and then you can find me on uh, Instagram as well. Instagram and LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Heather, thank you so much for your time today. When we share this uh, video out, we'll make sure all those links are in. Um, but please, you know, do go and, you know, search Heather's page because there are tons of stuff on there that will help you. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Sharon. No problem. Thanks very much. Bye.